Anyways, moving on. Should we do the UDO thing? Yeah, let's do it. Sora for Music. Former Google DeepMind engineers David Ding and Andrew Sanchez have launched Udio, a platform for creating AI-generated music. It already features tremendous tracks like, Wow, I Didn't Know That. Is that the name of it? That's the name of the track? Apparently. I thought it would be in uh, quotes maybe, but... Do you want to listen to it together? Should we finish the stuff? And then um, listen to it or no? No, let's listen to it together first. Got it. Okay. Are we, we're not playing it over stream? We're just... Yeah, yeah, we can play it over stream. That is apparently the name of the track. It's Wow, I Didn't Know That. Oh, yeah. It has 70,000 playbacks, apparently. Hold on. This wasn't the one that I wanted to... Um... Hold on. Let me see. Let me f- open up my What's Teams for Work. Uh, this, this, wasn't the, this wasn't the song that I had wanted to listen to. Uh, okay, yeah, this is great. How do I get this link to myself? Hold on. What's the name of it? We need to search it. That's a Twitter link. Okay, so I need to send it to LTT Wan. Uh, Dan, are we able to listen to this together with the stream? Yep. So, yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Maybe I, not on your phone, but... No, uh, no, 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 no. I'm sending it to myself. Okay, so first, let's listen to Wow, I Didn't Know That together. Is this, is this going to work? Uh, oh, well, it helps to not have my audio muted. Here we go. Oh, also it helps to be connected to the right thing. Okay, Dan, you got sound from me? Yeah, I saw a dingle. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, boy. I tell you fellas, I've been caught out Doing something I really shouldn't Gonna plead ignorance, gonna tell them about how if I'd have known better, I just wouldn't. Oh, we're in so much trouble. When they say drinking turpentine ain't where it's at, insurance fraud is a federal crime. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> Scroll down a bit, I want to see the lyrics. It's on my screen. Oh, you got it. Oh my gosh. So, um, that's a thing that exists. Yeah, we're totally screwed. Uh, Hold on, that was not actually the one that I wanted you to hear that blew my mind uh this was tweeted by abc dent minded um they said i found an account on udio that is mostly generating songs about how his friend seth (laughs) his pants at work (laughs) (laughs) oh my gosh okay you guys ready for this one yeah i've got it muted for now all right i got you here we go So yeah. Oh wow, get wrecked, Seth. Not gonna lie, hadn't heard that country song one. Uh, I would unironically listen to that. So about some dude <laughs> talking about how uh, insurance fraud is a federal it crime. Kinda and nobody me, told them. It kind of reminds me of the song "Online" by Brad Paisley, which is like one of my favorite like parody songs. Yeah, like I, I mentioned, like we're in trouble. And someone in chat was like, yeah, I don't think yet people would listen to this stuff. That that country song about, <laughs> well, I didn't know that people will absolutely listen. It was to well that. produced as well. Yeah. That messed me up. Actually, Ninja Man asked that just now and you were way ahead of him. What does Dan think about these since he has experience in production? Sometimes you can hear vocal issues, but is there things that the layman might not notice here? Like, it's pretty obvious to me that... They're hiding behind, like with these genres and with the styles of both of these, they're hiding behind kind of a 
kind of a, um, a more analog sound a little bit. Like, I think they might be masking some lack of clarity that way. Um, I've heard better voices on the country one, but the, uh, the like, the 50s swing bop Seth Pooping one, uh, <laughs> her voice was very clean. Um, I've also heard a lot of people that take normal talking and will turn them into singing voices or make singing voices out of characters. And those are kind of similar to the, the timbre of the, like, the country guy. But the, the backing music was far too good, and that was very concerning. Mind-blowing. Absolutely incredible. I wish I could see the prompt. Like, how did, how did you get it? <laughs> how did you get it to write this? Oh, maybe you feed it the lyrics? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, obviously the Seth one, probably. No, oh, because you could just tell it like the person's name is Seth. Like, it might do the writing. So anyway, UDO will generate two 32-second songs from a written prompt, giving users a choice over which they would like to use. The song can then be extended by adding sections before or after the original clip with up to 10 sections total. The extensions can be made with the same prompt or a completely different one. The platform plans to up plans updates with more musician focused tools like being able to add reference vocals, easy import of external tracks and more granular creation options. This comes just a couple of weeks after 200 plus music artists signed an open letter in attempt in an attempt to prevent the creation of exactly the type of tool that Udio is. Having said that, Udio's founders claim they have strong copyright protection measures in place so you can't reference any specific artist and any track that sounds like an artist will be blocked. Uh, LTT community members made an AI song about Pilk, a.k.a. Pepsi Milk. Shall we listen? Dan, are you ready? I yeah. am a ready. He is a ready. Well, maybe not my soul. Tech, where gadgets reign supreme, there's a curious mix. Some it's too good. Oh no. It's not about processors or graphics cards in play. It's about a strange concoction we'll sip today. Mixing Pepsi and milk, a cure mist delight. Light as tech tips, taking a sip out of sight. In the world of tech, where it's modulate. Back to the one. Oh, it's got the formula down. Like, perfect. No! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this one has some, some hints of AI-ness. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but there's, there's groups that but actually do catchy. that. That's true. That's the they have the formula down. They have the the like structure down. They have the strange modulation down. It might yeah, actually the, the be more modulation. It might be auto more interesting to listen to than modern pop music because it will do weird things that you're not expecting using the pop formula. So these might actually be more dopamine-inducing cheesecake brain than actual pop music. Ah. <sighs> Well, that's depressing. Cheesecake Thanks, Dan. Brain. Cheesecake brain. I use. Oh, oh, yeah. That might be my term. <laughs> uh, okay, never mind. Uh, pop music triggers with like the cheesecake reflex. I call it. Uh, <laughs> so your, your brain loves su sugar and salt. By the way, I thought you might like this. We mm. Linus and I have been playing this game uh, called Tape to Tape, which is mm. very fun. But uh, the developer behind it is called Excellent Rectangle. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah! I like their uh, logo. <laughs> yeah, that's video great. game studio. That's that's all you need to know about them. <laughs> uh, that's great. What? Oh, never mind. Okay. What's up? I saw people also search for uh, search for, and I saw Slapshot Rebound, and I thought it was like they also made, and I was like, oh, no, yeah, no way. Slapshot Rebound, sick too. Yeah. Uh, but tape tape to tape, we've been having a lot of fun with. It's a roguelite. You go through a campaign. You play against teams that have various types of completely unfair buffs. <laughs> There's basically no rules whatsoever. Um, oh, sick. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun yeah it's 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 dumb fun um supports multiplayer support is a little complicated because it only supports local couch multiplayer so you can use steam remote play but if you want to play with five people on a team steam remote play only supports four controllers 
So we had to have one person or we had to have two people side by side in the same place. So that was me and Yvonne last night. And then she was on the keyboard and I was on the controller. And then we were able to have three more controllers remote in. That was the only way we could get five players working. So if anyone from Valve is watching who works on uh, remote play or anything like that, um, hey, could we have a couple more controllers supported in remote play? That would be sick. I'd, That'd be you great. Know, obviously, this is a niche use case, but it's the kind of thing that every once in a while a Valve person will just be like, he, 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 that's a good idea. Maybe I'll just make that because I don't know if I even have a real boss anyway. Uh, so if, if that situation is going on right now, um, we'd be super into that. I've got, I've got one final thought on this, if I can interject. Um, uh, when is it going to be able to make like Death Grips songs? You know, uh, that's that's the thing is is a lot of these are trained on massive amounts of the most generic thing. So like pop music is dead. Like this just kills pop music. Just like uh, you know the AR art generators are killing uh, single person pinup art. Um, but if you're gonna get weird, right? <laughs> or like or like environment like backgrounds. Do you know what I mean? Did you they just, can do. Hold on, hold yeah. on. What did you just describe? Like. Thirsty commissions as single person pinup art. Yeah. Because that is the most apt description I have ever heard for anything ever. <laughs> Carry on. Yeah, you know, okay, we got a, a beautiful painted background, right? Nobody's going to do those anymore. But like Death Grips or any of the other really strange kind of out there uh, types of. So what you're saying is humans have a niche. It's just very weird. Yeah, yeah. Humans are going to make the weird stuff. And then the the boring stuff. Is Death stuff. Grips the band where everyone gets pissed off if people don't record their concerts because they often have songs that they only play at like? I I have concert. no idea. I used to I used to despise them because they were kind of outside of that uh, understanding. I don't find artists that I like. I don't get this very often. And then Adam made me listen to them a lot, and and he said that they were good, and so I had to revisit it. Now I get it. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's Death Grips. Probably. I could write better lyrics than that AI song. Sorry, I was just looking at the lyrics. Uh, I'm sure you were saying something interesting. Very good. Which one? The, uh, turpentine the, the pilk one? one. Turpentine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was that on the same Udio? Was that on Udio or was that on Suno? People are talking about Suno. Um, so, Suno, Suno. Suno, whatever. Yeah. Wild. Uh, also, I was listening to you. You were saying people on Reddit, single pinned post. I think this is going to become... I don't know. Why why is there so many more Suno posts in Dude, I can chat? I can a hundred percent see people just putting on oh, play man. me some here's here's some songs I like, play me some random bullshit that yeah. is stuff I might like, and then you just thumbs up and thumbs down it and then it just algorithmically feeds you literally an unlimited fire hose of new music you've never heard of, and I use the term music uh, with finger quotes. Uh, for the rest of your life like this is this is life changing you know how sometimes there'll be like an alternative youtube platform that'll go up yeah and they'll get promoted like crazy and then you go on there and all the videos have like 10 views that's not the case i'm on suno suno shows off things more than udio as far as i can tell i only ate three cheeseburgers has a quarter million plays uh, scroll down a little bit uh cat has almost half a million. Capybara has over a quarter million. Of course, we're taking their word for this. Yes, that's a pretty big deal. Yep. Deep Knight has a quarter million. It's very easy and quite common uh, to, I'll just say um, that view counts are not always super accurate, and it's very easy for them to not be super accurate. And mm -hmm. I think it's, I have personally deemed that a decent amount of it is intentional. So maybe, but I have no idea. I've never heard of the site, but a lot of people in chat had known about it. The second we started talking about Udio, people were posting a bunch of links from Suno. Wild. Uh, so not a real question here, necessarily. Dan might like it. Um, <laughs> Udio, oh yes. LTT, Christmas album? No. Question <laughs> mark? No. <laughs> no. Wrong? No. no and no. <laughs> All of you know. Especially you know. You know why it's a no? Because we've got Dan, and he could just make one in-house. Exactly. Yeah. No, wait, no, <laughs> no. You, you've got enough audio yeah. from Linus. You can just mix it you up. You only right? need like a minute yeah. or two anyway. That is not the point. <laughs> it's not about how much you need. It's about how much you should. 
have? And the answer is none. I've got like 300 hours of like uncompressed exactly, like what? channel Linus. It's you could have the whole album and just review it to him. Yeah, exactly. And other we could just play it constantly throughout his house. <laughs> And it would always be different. Oh, Perfect. that'd be a fun channel. Perfect. Super fun. <laughs> Hijacking the audio in Linus's house. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd figure it out. I think I'd figure it out. 